There's one. Here's another one. Yahoo! Got it on camera. <laughs> Well, everybody, we've uh, arrived at Fuller Lake. It's a gloriously sunny day. We've got a high of 10 degrees forecast today and mostly sunshine. Birds are singing and the water looks gorgeous. And uh, they just recently stocked the lake as well as what's uh, carried over from last year. So I can't wait to get out on the water. Let's, uh, let's take this little baby out and uh, see if we can catch some fish. I've just gotten out on the water. It's about 9.30, as you can see, the sun is shining. It's looking pretty nice out here. Um, I'm gonna go around the lake and look for some happy fish, look for some rises. I anticipate there being uh, a hatch of coronum. It's sometime between 10 o'clock and two o'clock this afternoon. So we'll just search around until we, uh, until we find what we're looking for. Uh, in the meantime, enjoying the sunshine, the wildlife, and just being on the water. I'll catch up on uh, the action in a little bit. Oh, that's a strong one. You got one? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> they just came on. There you go, hey. There's a nice fish, eh? Let's take a look at that. We got it in the on the zucchini. We'll just pop that fly out, barbless hook. There we go. That's the zucchini, a little red tail on there, and the black body with the gold rib. And that's the number did the ticket. There's one. There's another one. Yahoo! Got it on camera. <laughs> That's a strong one. Let's get this into the net. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Well, we've got another nice one here. We're going to pop the hook out and show it to you. Right in the top lip, barbless hook. Comes out easy. There it is. Get this little Little guy out here, they're chunky, these little guys. Nice rainbows. Just over a foot long. Beautiful fish. Back he goes. So the morning had started slow. We've picked up a couple of fish. Um, now it's uh, after 11 o'clock. Uh, there wasn't much rising going on. And was it was another cold. There's a fish right now. Oh, just as we're speaking. How about that? <laughs> and so uh, the chronomet hatch has just come on at about 
And uh, so we're having a lot of fun dangling the fish, uh, the chronomid in about 35 feet of water. And uh, just off the bottom. And there's, oh, that's a strong one. Let's see what this one looks like. This is a strong fish. Oh yeah, it's flashing away. Give you a look. This fish wants to go. Get him on the reel. Got a strong one here. Yeah, they're a strong fish for this little lake, eh? That, that's a strong fish that just wants to, to bury its head down in the bottom. Look at that. Lots of fun. Hey, you didn't... There you go. Look at that size of that fish. That's, for the island, you can't sneeze at fish of this size. And enjoy that all day, every day. This is a beauty. This is a beauty. Oh, this one's gone about 16 inches or so. Get that barbless hook out of its out of its jaw there, right in the top lip. There we go. The hook is free. Check that back in the water. I'll show you this fish. You're going back. You're going back. Just calm down. Look at the size of that. Can't sneeze at that for island waters. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Beauty, beauty. Let's put him back. Well-deserved fight. Well, like I was saying, <laughs> before I got so rudely interrupted, um, these uh, the morning started slow with little to no action happening in the surface. Um, I noticed a few coronamids coming off at about 11 o'clock, kind of anticipated there'd be a hatch and, and some action. Um, and I uh, had to switch over, try to micro leech for a while, and uh, that didn't work. And now I switched back to the zucchini, number 14, same as I was fishing the other week on uh, another lake. And, uh, and that's doing the number for me, right uh, within a foot of the bottom, about, about 35, 39 feet of water here. And uh, I'll just send it down. So I've got a nine foot six weight rod with a type six sinking line. Because of the depth of water, we want to get right down to the bottom as quickly as we can. So a type six or type seven sinking line is recommended for that. And then I put the weight on the, on the hook and send it to the bottom. When I hit bottom, like that. Then two cranks on the reel, like that. I'll strip in the line. And then take the weight off. There's my little weight. My little weight unit that's attached to the hook. And take that off. And then my uh, number 14 zucchini coronamid is doing the trick this morning. Uh, after I pumped his stomach the last time, I showed you on the camera, they were like number 14 12 14 black chronomids and the zucchini is a black with the red butt and the gold rib so there we go there's the magic today there's number four on the zucchini what a lot of fun it is this morning now midday we're at noon right now and the hatch is strong and the fish are taking what a great place to be Nice fat rainbow chip. All right. Well, let's
let's get this one unbuttoned and sent back. Right in the top lip where you expect chronomids to be taken. Barbless hook. Should come out fairly easy. There we go. This one's smaller than the last, but just a fine fish. Fine, beautiful rainbows raised here by the Freshwater Fishery Society at Stockney's Lakes. They put about 1,800 in last week. Plus there's the carryovers from last fall and last spring. Beautiful fish. Down they go. Number five, and I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> oh, nice strong one. <laughs> Whoa, yes, this is strong fish. Get him in the net. There we go. Let's have a look at this fish. Okay. I'm going to pump the stomach of this one as well after I've gotten the hook out. Barbless hook. We can get that out of his, his lip there, pronto. There we go. And then we'll uh, give his stomach a little look. It's her throat, actually. So you want to make sure you moisten the bulb, moisten the stem of your pump, and then depress, and you've got it empty, just air in there, no water. You're not going to be flushing water in there. You depress the bulb, enter it into the esophagus until you feel resistance, then slowly extract it under suction, and it sucks up, as you can see, what's in the throat. I'm going to put this fish back and have a look at what's in the stomach. There you go, little fella. There you go. Put a little water in my dish and start. And there we have a look at a number of chronomid. I don't know if you can see that in the petri dish. All about size 14s, black, and uh, a couple of chromies in there. They're all about 14, so that's why the zucchini is working. We are on the right size. So lakes like this all over the island and all over the interior of BC are stocked by the Freshwater Fishery Society, which is entirely supported by your license purchases, by the money coming from license sales, and the Habitat Conservation Trust Fund that is also paid for when you buy a license. Uh, they do fantastic work besides stocking the lakes. They put fishing docks on many of the lakes, like this one. So shorebound anglers have a great place to uh, fish from. And they have uh, learn to fish programs for children and adults. And uh, they run those regularly throughout the spring and summer and fall on different places. So you want to go to the Go Fish BC website. And uh, that'll tell you which lakes are stocked in your region and about the programs going on and how you can get involved if you're not yet an angler and how you can learn to fish or teach a child to fish. Uh, lakes like this one are considered family uh, fishing lakes. They're stocked uh, abundantly so the fish don't get super huge, although there are some bigger ones that will carry over from year to year. Uh, but they're numerous and so that there's not a long time between bites. So all you need is your freshwater fishery fishing license to ha come out and if you're a child under 16, uh, they don't need a license and if they're fishing with you, it's a great way to spend a day and, and introduce a child to fishing and the great outdoors in the beautiful province that we live in. Not bad place to be. I'm looking forward to a few more fish before I head out for lunch. And we dangle these chronomids off the bottom. What I like to do is just barely inch it in, like very slow, one inch every five seconds or so, and just work it up through the water column. And uh, that way you present the fish to uh, fish that are swimming at different uh, elevations, different, different depths in the water. And uh, usually you'll get a strike somewhere along the way. If not, recast out, start again.
Here's the, here's the take. Beauty. Just as I was inching it up. You bet. <laughs> nice to get that on camera. Fish number six this morning. Look at them flashing down there. They are bright, beautiful fish. Very strong for their size. And uh, just beautiful colors when you get them into the, in the air and get a close look at them. Nice fish. Untangle here. Nice to have the net with this week. Last week I forgot it. There's fish number eight today. Nice strong one, looks like. Just absolutely hammered it. Just went in for a bit of lunch, came back out. Different spot on the lake. One that I'd been at last time I was here. And uh, fish on the first cast. Nice strong fish, look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. I tell you, that beat. Fish in Vancouver Island in March. All right, here's fish number nine, I think. It's just really doing well out here today. Strong fish, this one. Oh yeah, this is a strong one. He doesn't like the sight of the boat. Close to the boat and off he wants to go. So yeah, we're getting, uh, we're having a great day out here. Really built on the knowledge that we got the first time out. And uh, found out what they like, what time of day they like to bite, where. And look at that, just one fish after another. Barbless hook comes out real easy. Put that fish back in the water. Come on, you. Don't want to squeeze them. Never squeeze them. If they want to go, let them go. There we go. Bright colors. Rainbow hue. Green eye. Look at that. Just gorgeous fish. Where you go, buddy.
Okay, we're just uh, heading in. Uh, I've had a great day out here. I lost track of the number of fish. I think it's around 10, 11. Um, a couple of real beauties uh, that were in around the 15, 16 inch mark. Um, all of them on the zucchini chronoid, the number 14. And uh, I haven't tied that one on my channel, but I'll have to do that in a short order and uh, show it to you. There are other channels that have it, but uh, I'll tie it up as well for you to show you the pattern I use, little tweaks I've done to it. So it's been a great day. Uh, going to see you on land and we'll sum things up. Well, as you can see, everybody, it's a fan been a fantastic day out here. The sun's shining. Hit about 10 degrees today. Very light breezes. Perfect day to be out in the water fishing. I'm glad I made the trip down. Uh, had a great day. I got into about a dozen fish, though I've met some guys who did a lot better than me down here. Um, but uh, the fish were taken really well on the number 14 zucchini chronomet. Um, other guys are doing really well on the chromies with the black rib. And so we had a lot of fun. A uh, number of boats out today. Spring is certainly coming to the South Island. And in the future, I hope to take you to some other lakes on the North Island or Mid Island and then North Island and some more that are more wilderness lakes. This is a fantastic lake, family friendly place, uh, playground, park, beach, uh, swimming dock, I'm sure is very popular in the summer. Uh, but the fantastic fishing here in the month of March, and I'd certainly come back. I hope to see you on the water and wish you tight lines and good luck. Have a great day, everybody.